The concrete has been crumbling for years, so now there's finally a plan to replace the bridges that carry 590 over Monroe Avenue in Brighton. News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey has been looking into the safety of those bridges. Today she spoke with the regional director of the DOT to get a timetable on when construction will begin and what drivers in that area can expect. We get a lot of calls and emails about these bridges from people who travel in this area often. It is hard to drive by and not notice just how bad they look. Huge chunks of concrete have fallen. Rebar is exposed all over the place and they just generally look to be in really rough shape. For years, the Department of Transportation has told me they are safe despite what they look like, but they have stepped up inspections lately. We inspect it. It's being inspected right now. It started two weeks ago. Uh, so we'll go through it, fine tooth comb, uh, make sure everything is, is safe for the traveling public. The bottom line, if it's not, we would take steps to make sure that it is, whether it's repairs or even closing a structure. We're not in that realm for this bridge. But the director did confirm that a $55 million replacement project will begin here next spring. Both bridges that carry 590 over Monroe Avenue will be replaced and the 590 bridge over Allen's Creek Road will be rehabilitated. Thousands of people travel in this area every single day, so you'll have to plan ahead. So how do you plan to accommodate traffic in that area during that time? Well, the planning process is extensive. We start to uh, work on preliminary engineering, uh, usually about three years in advance. In this case, uh, there will be lane reductions in both directions. Uh, so we can give the workers space to work. Uh, there'll be some ramp closures as well. Uh, so it'll be an impact. Uh, the project will take about three years. The majority of the impact is in the second and third year. If you travel in this area often, you know how congested it can be when the bridges are open. So the replacement is likely going to make traffic an issue. But the DOT says it's that or the bridges continue to deteriorate and become unsafe. So. We will keep you posted as we get closer to that timetable on when you can start noticing those impacts. In Brighton, Jennifer Lukey, News 10 NBC.